All right, welcome back. Tonight we've got a special edition of Make It Mondays because we have an exclusive update to a story that we brought to you about Oishi. A few months ago, Oishi is a vertical farming brand that makes the so-called perfect strawberry with seeds from Japan. Now, if you missed it, co-founder and CEO Hiroki Koga's story, the first time around, here is a brief recap. the sweetest strawberry. It's the freshest strawberry. It's the cleanest strawberry. I'm Hiroki Koga, co-founder and CEO here at Oishi. We grow the world's sweetest strawberries using vertical farming technology. In Japan, strawberries is, uh, is called the king of fruits. It is probably one of the sweetest fruits that you can find in the market. When I came to the U.S., I realized that there's a big gap between the quality of uh, fresh produce that was available here in the U.S. versus what I was used to eating. But because because of this vertical farming technology, we're able to grow Japanese variety strawberries that was only able to be grown in Japan if it weren't for this technology. The biggest challenge is how quickly can we expand our production. Everything that's produced in this farm gets sold out instantly. And we know we can probably build a hundred more of these farms. And so our goal is to make that the new standard. Just like how, you know, Tesla has been changing the landscape, we want to be that in agriculture. And today, Oishi, opening a brand new solar-powered indoor vertical farm right here in New Jersey. It is our most technologically advanced and sustainable farm yet. 237,000 square feet, one of the biggest in the world. 20 times more growth for strawberries because, thank goodness... Because Hiroki Koga is here, and I said thank goodness, Hiroki, because I'm not saying this because you're sitting here. I told you this the last time. These are the best strawberries I've ever had. I'm going to eat one right now while you Please. talk. And the fact that you had to grow supply this much because demand must just be off the charts. Exactly. We just um, can't just keep, keep up talking, with the demand from the market. <laughs> and so um, since last time I was here, we've been building this facility called the Amatelis Farm, which is located in uh, Pennsylvania, uh, Phillipsburg, New Jersey. I threw you off because I said I just <laughs> drove by Phillipsburg yesterday on I-78. I'd love to see it. You've got robots working there? Yeah, so um, we have strawberry plants that's moving on its own that come to the robots, and then the robots will automatically detect the ripeness of the berries in self pick what do you mean okay first off the good news is the robots won't eat the crops because if they i won't. worked there i would just be like one for you one for me um how do they detect the ripeness well so we have a visual recognition system that we developed in-house where the robots have cameras and they can detect the ripeness of each berries and when they are ready to go they'll detect it and they'll harvest it automatically it's and how long does it take because to 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 uh, for lack of a term grow a strawberry what's the do you do it in a different time period as nature? Uh, well, the beauty of vertical farming is we are not controlled by the outdoor con environment, so we can yeah. start any time, right? And so it there's no about, winter. There's no well, we artificially create winter in the farm, but we can do it even if it's summer outside. Why do you artificially create winter? Because the strawberry plants do need to go through certain uh, different types of uh, seasonality to actually start flowering the fruits, and then. They'll start producing these berries. Shows you probably like thinking, what an idiot. Did he ever take biology 101? <laughs> which, no, I did not, by the way. You've, the tomatoes, which you don't have here, because our, by the way, happy birthday to our executive producer, senior executive producer, Max Myers. Max, Good happy birthday. birthday. We were going to show some of your tomatoes, but Max ate them all for the show. <laughs> okay, but because it's it his birthday, we're not going to yell at him. What's next for you? What would this kind of farming enable you to grow? So I think... Uh, Please with, don't say cannabis. Uh, we're not going into cannabis. <laughs> We've already uh, figured out how to grow melons. Um, but for now, because the demand is just so overwhelming, we will be focusing on strawberries for, for the next couple of years. But we do have other crops in our r and pipeline. You've got Whole Foods. How's the distribution looking? Because you're now close to me, too. Yes. How, how fast is distribution growing? Yeah, so with this facility online, we should be able to supply to most of uh, the Whole Foods store on the, west, uh, on the East Coast and then many other um, types of uh, grocery stores on the East Coast. Well, Hiroki Koga, great to have you back on. We love these follow-up Make It Monday stories, especially when you bring us treats. So thank you. Thank, no, thank you very much, folks. These are truly amazing. Check them out. Thank you. Happy birthday, Max. Love you, man. Thanks for watching Last Call. We'll see you tomorrow.